You ready? Why not? Swing it. Hey, everybody, it is the Drive to School podcast. We are coming back after a little break and uh, talking about stuff. Uh, my boss is here. This is Erica Jacoby. She's not only the executive director of Higher Things, but uh, a teacher, too. Uh, <laughs> and so, Erica, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm happy to be, you know, back doing our thing. Yeah, it was uh, a lot of energy at conferences. And mm -hmm. so now it's great sort of running on the fumes of that to. Um, yeah, we, we realize we're old again. <sighs> nothing like nothing like spending a couple of weeks with, you know, a thousand, two thousand kids to remind you that your energy is not what it once used to be. No, but it, it, it's also uh, a good reminder that what we do is important. And, and so like that is true. You're, here I'm tired, but I'm kind of excited. Um, Me too. Me too. We've been talking about logical fallacies so that we uh, we don't mm -hmm. think bad, but we think mm -hmm. good. Um, mm -hmm. Think smarter. Yeah. Um, logical fallacies are, are they're dangerous because they're, they're really easy to fall into, um, but yeah. they can derail you real far from actually finding any kind of truth or hope or comfort uh, because yeah. you're just you're you're following a line of path. that's just not going to go to where you want to go. It's like not listening to Google Maps because your friend who's sitting in the front seat knows a better way. Uh, sometimes they're lying to you. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. Google Maps does, too. And sometimes Apple Shh. Maps. And oh, OK, they're listening. They're not sponsors. We'll be OK. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, what are we talking about today? We're talking about the middle ground fallacy. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like I might be able to guess at what it means. Uh-huh. Yeah. So um, it's the argument or the, um, let's just call, let's just call it kind of lazy thinking. Um, that a compromise between two extremes, two extreme truth claims is correct. Just because mm -hmm. it's a compromise. Right. Right. And sometimes and, I mean, yeah. a compromise is important, right? Like there's a lot of things that exist yeah. because of compromise. Like blessed uh, but, be the peacemakers. You know what I mean? Like yeah. how does a marriage work without compromise? Right. Right. Um, yeah. Except like there are things, I guess you're right. Like some things are, are not actually compromisable. Right. Right. Um, so it, it part of this comes from like a good intention, right? And thinking that um, well, everybody's going to be happy if we can just find some sort of middle ground, but unfortunately it doesn't always work that way. It's, it can be very poor reasoning and we need to be aware of that. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that compromise is wrong in some context either. So we should be clear about that. Sometimes there is a middle ground and, and that's all right. Um, so there's kind of two ways to look at this yeah, thing, right? because I mean, you're right. there's, there's one place where we want to keep our reason mm -hmm. separate from our practice. Cause like you can go to politics or marriage or, or like, there are places mm -hmm. where the only way you're going to get anything done is if two people mm -hmm. meet in the middle and both give a little bit, but your reason isn't the thing that's giving just your practice. Yeah. In it. Um, Correct. Yeah. There are the other things where uh, somebody once told me that, uh, almost every heresy in the church comes from leaning too hard on something that's true, just sort of pushing it too far to the extreme. And so mm -hmm. you, you sort of have, um, for example, um, on one side, the idea that uh, you have to be a good person to go to heaven. Um, and mm -hmm. you have people on the other side saying that uh, you can be saved, like everybody's saved, no matter what, no matter what they believe, no matter where they, they, they think, no matter how they behave, doesn't, nothing matters at all, not faith, not anything. And both mm -hmm. of those are wrong. They're pushed too far to the extreme. That is, is right. really just that middle ground, which is faith in Christ saves. That's it, not works, just faith, right. not faith is given by the spirit. Right. And I think I think some of the reasoning behind this is not it's not just lazy thinking. Let's be fair, because we want everybody to be heard and validated. Um, but I do think sometimes this um, this fallacy comes about because we kind of want to reject absolute truth at times. You know, right. we, we want to do that as human beings. And I think that's really uh, common in the culture. So like like to give an extreme example of a middle ground fallacy, um, you might say something like, you might hear something like, my dad said lying is never acceptable. Um, but while it's actually our right to lie whenever you want to, like my uncle says it's okay to lie whenever you want to, um, therefore it must be okay to lie sometimes. That would be, that would be a, a like a kind of an obvious lab, logical middle ground fallacy, right? So, but you're not really driving of, at, the heart of the argument there are you 
Right. And right? it saves you from having to be wrong and you from having to tell somebody else they're wrong, both of which are That's deeply right. comfortable, but there are places right. where it matters. So Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. That's and the other side of that is um, everyone is saved no matter what. Um, all religions lead to to some form of heaven, some form of God, and they can't both be right. And I understand the temptation to want to meet them in the middle, because then you're not right. trying to argue somebody out of something and, and have a fight with somebody about a deeply held belief they have. Also, you can't be proven wrong. We'll just sort of meet in the middle. But the question then is, is Jesus actually the way, the truth, and life or not? Because right. we can't bend on that. We cannot. In fact, he tells us that that's the only way. Right. So the middle ground can't work there. Um, can't work there. I, I understand trying to meet people where they are, trying to talk to people, recognizing that they might hold deep set beliefs, but that doesn't mean abandoning your own. That is correct. 